Most real-world situations are not zero-sum games, with a clear optimal choice. In a zero-sum game, both parties have a preferred outcome. They want to win, and there are no doubts. In reality, things are different. There typically isn't a universally accepted solution or a dominant winning strategy. A non-zero-sum game is different because it allows participants to choose whether they want to cooperate or to compete. Remember, the two players can have common and opposing interests at the same time. The most classic example of a non-zero-sum game is the prisoner's dilemma. Here, two players must decide what they will do, and the outcome of for both depends on their own actions. So, we have two criminals arrested, suspected in a robbery. Police officers hold the two criminals in different interrogation rooms and offer them the following options. If one of them confesses the crime and the other one doesn't, the one who's confessed walks away free, while the other one receives a 10-year sentence. If both confess, they will receive a 5-year sentence each, and if neither one confesses, they will both walk away free. Okay, so this is how the typical non-zero-sum game with two players looks like. At first sight, it appears the situation in which the two prisoners cooperate and do not confess is a clear optimal strategy, right? However, please remember the two prisoners are held separately, so they wouldn't know the decision of the other party until they make their own. It becomes very dangerous trusting the person in the next room with five or ten years of your life. If a prisoner confesses, then the worst that can happen is being sentenced to five years. But if he doesn't confess, he may end up in jail for ten years. Or even better, if he confesses and the other prisoner doesn't, he walks away free. Communication is not allowed. What do you think ought to happen? John Nash, the famous Nobel Prize winner portrayed in the movie A Beautiful Mind, came up with a solution known as Nash's Equilibrium. He proved that, if a player in the context we described earlier has chosen a strategy, and other players can't benefit by changing their strategies, then we would have an equilibrium. In The Prisoner's Dilemma, if one of the prisoners confesses, he would face a zero or a five-year sentence. That's much better than facing zero or ten years of prison, right? Yes, the optimal global solution is to deny confessing. However, Given that prisoners cannot communicate, they will choose a solution optimizing their own utility. In our next lesson, we'll provide an example of how game theory and Nash's equilibrium can be used when analyzing a business case. Thanks for watching.